some of them when they come tap 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 that man we fucking will <laughs> 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 yeah, and away they went <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, uh, it's Tubbs here from Fighters Soul TV again with Max and uh, we're with Young Bob for the late call three. How are you doing son? Yeah, good Alright, looking in good shape, good shape. Not bad, not bad. So what will we be training for today? Uh, training, just like a bit of technique, uh, a bit of boxing, but I want to try and make up the world rankings. If I, if I can, every boxer wants to be world rankings. Yeah. That's, you've got to put the work in. I'll be up in the morning, it's in the job. Oh yeah. So, I want to try and oh, I, I know that one when we were teenagers. Yeah, 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 so no, we were doing a lot of work putting it in. Okay, today, guys, we're with Freddie the Rock Butcher. How you doing, mate? All right. Yeah, good, good. Thanks, thanks. So what we're doing with Freddie is going to be following his career because he's just about to turn pro. Yeah, That's not going to turn pro, mate. No, um, I've got to be positive, you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So tell us um, a little bit about how you got started in, in this. Well, it all started off while I was a little boy. My dad took me to the boxing gym. I would have been about seven. I was always high school dad. My dad, my dad didn't want me to box. And I was the, the reason why he didn't want you to box? Yeah, because my dad, he was a fighter himself. Yeah. He was um, unlicensed, so he was British champion. Okay. I just don't think he wanted me to box. So he always like, cared about me. He didn't want to see the boy like that. Anybody who has a son, they don't want to see their boy get married or nothing like that. Are you uh, the first boy? Yeah, first son as well. So he didn't want to see me go, but like, when I was seven, I wanted to do it. Back in, I was saying, please, dad, take me home. Yeah. And he ended up taking me to the gym when I was about seven. Started off, or well, there would have been, I think it was at Banbury, Oxford. Uh, a guy who was called Dave Bell, well, and he was a real, real good guy. A uh, nice bloke, trained me, still trained me now, very, very good trainer. And it all started off spiritual lessons in Banbury, really. All wow. kicked off from me. Yeah, so, I mean, obviously, you were just about to turn pro. We had a, obviously we had a chat off camera, just about to turn pro. Tragedy hits. Yeah, yeah. It does a lot of fighters. Yeah. And, it, and, and Understanding the fight of psych psychology, you sort of have to take a step back to recover yourself, ready to go again. Yeah, well that's the thing. Like, um, I lost my mum, and uh, I was I was doing amateur boxing. I was doing like a few senior fights, senior fights. I had about I think two or three senior fights, one all of them I think. And as I was boxing and getting along with me, I was boxing. I thought right, I've had enough of the amateur game. I thought I'd push out to the side, it would have been about 18, 19, I thought, I want to go pro. It's time to go pro now. So I got it all, like, all done up. And I was either going to go with Frank or um, I forgot the other guy, you know, but I ended up getting signed up with him. When we had uh, Jim McDonald, Jim McDonald was training me, and Jamie, uh, no, Jamie McCallum, what's your name? Or Jamie, Jamie something. And they was doing some, like, pads with me and get me ready and everything. I was all buzzing. Next thing you know, I was ready for the fight, and I had the papers signed and everything, all like ready to go. Going to go for me um, on uh, checkup, so it was called medical. Medical, yeah. And then after that, I was looking to get. I was supposed to be coming on um, out of match up. I mean, they were going to get me matched up for the uh, uh Bethnal Green. Oh, oh right. Right. that was oh, like, your call. Yeah, 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 your call. Yeah. I was supposed to box there, and all of a sudden, I think after about a week, a week. After that, what was some of the paper, and it was all kind of planned. So I go ahead, get some medicine and stuff, and then the next thing you know, my mum, she went to sleep, she never woke up, she just passed away and all that. Oh, and sorry I, that no, it's alright. Um, but then after that, lost her, and then I thought, I'll try to go back to the gym. So I met my parents, and I always wanted to like, try and box. Yeah. So I loved me boxing. My mum used to love, love me, mm -hmm. loved me boxing. And I tried to go back to the gym, punch in the bag, and I thought, can't do it. No, I mean, I was trying to, much as I was trying to, and I had that clear instinct. But I had so much anger as well built up. So, like, if I was jumping in the ring or someone, I was like, I really wanted to hurt them. Or bad. Yeah. Or I wanted to jump in the ring. I do an egg, but like, when you're sparring, you should be learning, like, move your head, learn, learn bits and pieces and stuff. I'm not trying to jump in the ring, kill everyone. I had so much anger. I was like, jumping in the ring, and you were trying to. Um, all, like, trying to take your anger out of yeah. them. But then all of a sudden I thought, I can't do it. I can't lock my heart on it. I'll stop it. If I stop it, give it a few months, I'll come back. 
give it about, I think, seven or eight months. Started to come back and I started to get a bit, bit back better. And then next thing you know, my dad, my dad got um, mm. attacked from Shetty. He yeah. got chopped up. Yeah, um, I mean, you're sad about that. He, he got away from the hospital bed. And at the same time, I got smashed up, I got smashed, just smashed up. I, I, my, one eye was closed over and fractured on around me on two fractures on the back of my skull. And from there, I was supposed to be going pro there, I and mean, then it just got knocked back again. I thought, fuck, man, I need, you know, I need this, you know. Yeah. So, uh, third time lucky. Yeah. First time lucky. This time, I want to, I want to do it. I'm just pushing everything like away, keeping my nose clean. I'm not going out now. I just want to, I really, really want to fight. I like, I like to fight from the old man. Well, because I know she didn't practice, yeah. you know. Yeah. And obviously, you know, in the background of what, what you go through, you, you, you want to do them more proud. But a lot, a lot yeah. of them talking off camera and about doing yourself proud, you know, yeah, yeah. kids and, 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 and something that's sort of moving, moving yeah. forward. And I'd like to fight for my family, you know, I'd like to fight for me also. But mainly, I would like to fight for myself. And if there was anybody all the time for, it would be for my family. And plus, but I would like to fight for support. I'd love to have support. Yeah, every night, every night, you're going to get a lot of fault. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, the thing, what sort of weight? I mean, uh, you, you, you want to come in at what you're thinking? Uh, well, I like the box as well, like 67, 67. Is that the weight you're, you're most comfortable at? Yeah, I'll, I'll say 67. I could get myself 67. Like everybody cheats on themselves. At the minute, I'm 70, I'm 74 kilos. Yeah, um, so we'll 74 kilos, isn't it? Yeah, but like. What I do is, I go a bit, everybody gets that cheat on the scale, so we can get it. It's good, so like, you bring your side yourself for like three days before pulling, put yourself in the sauna to lose both weight. Yeah. So if I jump on the scale to six, seven kilo, I go straight to a nice restaurant, put a steak in the side and some nice food in there. Mm. I'll back up 69, probably maybe 70. I'll go and eat loads. Yeah. And when I get back in the ring, really, you're fighting a 70 kilo person, but yeah. they're about 67. I don't know, you're strong. Yeah, you've got that few extra kilos yeah. advantage, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, it does, you know, eight pounds does matter when you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. we've always thought about that with um, yeah. Canelo and Bibble, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it really, really does. It helps a lot. Cause you can feel the more attraction of like, on the end of the power, you know? Yeah. A little bit more. Like we've mentioned before about Eddie Ruiz, when he was massive, he had the power, and then I said, oh yeah, now he's all trimmed down, he's all gone, all buff and that, and he went far away, he won at the power. Yeah. No, yeah. because, I mean, you know, coming from boxing, you know where you carry your power from. It's yeah. not just in the actual style, it's in the weight transfer from back to front. Yeah. So, you know, if you're carrying eight extra pounds, uh, eight extra pounds is eight extra pounds, and then you time it by the speed of the fist, which is around 60 miles an hour, that's, that's a lot of difference. It's yeah, that's a lot of power. power. Yeah, it, it really is. So, uh, and I think that when it comes to fight, everyone wants to fight the weight division below, because it's easy to rehydrate, back up yeah. but rehydration i never had to worry about that 110 kilos <laughs> i didn't have to worry about having that i just had to worry about you know, not eating the wrong that, thing that, the day that, of the fight that is the good thing with everybody so we'll say that like, they do go on some diet but like any weights they can really they can eat what they want mm. really because uh, you're a heavyweight and like with like weight divisions like middleweight lightweight you've got to make them scale yeah, like, yeah, as a heavyweight I'll tell you, yeah. it's some of the funny things that I used to do, as I like, I'll give you a few little hints from when I was younger. You know, I don't know if you drink raw, raw eggs. Yeah. Do you ever yeah. Right? Yeah. Raw eggs in the morning. Straight in, lick your lips and let it go off. Right? And when you're actually in the clinch with him, first clinch, he fucking will. That was a trick we used to do. Oh, mate, I'm going to tell you, I'm sweating. He's like, oh, he can actually <laughs> feel it. But, so off for medical, looking to get into the ring with your first opponent in six or six four to six months time. Yeah, yeah. Def, definitely. I'd, really, to... I'd love to fight about four six months time. Then yeah. hopefully all me my my wounds and stuff that would all be all that. Go for me medical should be should be able to smash that very same bit of a practice nothing. And after that. I just turn on boxing and I really want to fight and when I do, or I promise you, I promise you'll be excited. I would love, I would love every player, like I was saying in the gym if you got a recording, and like before this recording, everybody wants to be world champion. So it ain't just me, everybody is. 
Yeah, everybody's hungry. You know, we, we um, on that TW1 show, we interviewed Desi Rees, you know, I think he's only like 12. And I said, to where do you see yourself in five years? He went, I want to be world champion. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did tell you, as yeah. a bit ambitious, you're 17. Yeah. <laughs> so a bit ambitious. It's not impossible, though, is it? No, no I don't. I don't, I don't I, well, what's his name? Um, Robert, I'm sure Robert was right. He was world champion or something. And there were games, he's, I'm not sure, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. I know somebody done it at like a young age, 16, 17. Well, that's and awesome, every game he's taught because they found out what, how old he was. Yeah. You know? I think, I think I think at the end of the day, I mean, for, for your particular career, which we're going to follow, you know, I, I think that you've got some really exciting future. And I think, it, you know, you've got to take the setbacks that you have. Everybody in life gets them, you know, and you've had some pretty bad ones, but you can take those setbacks. But it's the courage and the, and the, uh, and the skill comes out for recovery of that. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. we see you down the gym, there's going to be, you know, hopefully the videos on this will, will show that you, you work in the bag. Yeah, we'll go, we'll, it's all there. You work with yeah. Nigel Ben. Got a lot more cameras on. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, work with Nigel Ben. I was saying, when I, I, I spun around with the camera, I see you, I thought, is anyone no top off? I went fast. Got like this film you punch in that bag. And the way you work, I thought, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we come from a fighting background, yeah. and we thought better of it, mind you, we're old. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're getting a bit old. I've been acting though, after that, I was just thinking, I was punching that bag about. Look, about five, know. six minutes it was. Yeah. Well, that, well, I was filming, I don't yeah. know what you were doing before that. Right? I must have been punching it all together for probably, I'd say, four or five minutes now. Mm -hmm. Then I before that. It's a lot of new bag, it's like an echo bag or something, isn't it? Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah. Like a water yeah, the one. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. That's the, obviously, they're designed not an old bag, but they're designed to actually stop, not break your hands on the yeah, bag. Yeah, but you risk to do that. Ah, good. They're good, like mainly I say for the uppercuts. Uppercuts are not what they're made for. Yeah. Like, I don't think you can beat a noise every bag. I love punching every bag. I just rather punch every bag than what I would punch him. I like my uppercuts and stuff, mm. but I'd rather punch every bag. Yeah. So, you know, we could be looking at a fight for you December time, December, January time, yeah. um, which would be really good. And guys, look, you're going to have to follow this because uh, you're taking Freddie from the amateurs to the pro. What, tell me, tell me guys, uh, what your amateurs was like, you know, how many fights you had. And, and... I, um, I had 17, I think I had 17 fights for amateur, 17, 1, 12, 13, but mainly I had more stoppages, like stoppages, or like stamina, counts, doing stamina, counts. I was more of a pro fighter, like more, and every, it wasn't just one person, every yeah, day. Good luck with us. Yeah, I had a couple. Yeah, yeah one or two, a couple. Any yeah. that you remember? Yeah, but like when I was, that was, I was young. Yeah. And then like now, the power I've got now, like towards back then, mm -hmm. it's just a lot, lot more. Like yeah. a so how old are you now? About 20 now, but that, when I was boxing then, I would have been about 17, 18. So you've still got a couple of years to get more power, about 23, yeah. 24 is the peak. You know, well, about. everybody's been saying, like, when I'm about 24 to 26, they reckon the power I might have, listen, I'm not, hopefully, they are right. Mm. But the power I might have when I'm 24, 26, that's, it's, I reckon I would be very, very strong. If I keep up with my training, now, obviously, if I don't, it's not going to be there, but... Keep up on training, I reckon I'll be very, very like, powerful without all the sort of yeah, right. your training regime. You just got so that's like when you hit your man, when you, week, you yeah. hit your man strength when you're about 22, 23, mm -hmm. and then you start come on mm -hmm. like 26, you feel like you know what I mean? So, well, ladies and gents, in uh, about four or five years, it could be you versus Connor Ben, sort of stable mate, really, no. down at PWI now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. worry, you won't yeah. see this, will you, Connor? Put me down. No, look, I really, Connor, I really like Connor. Connor, me, me and Connor, I've met him a couple of times. He's had some photos took with me and like, talking to me down and watching the spa. He's real, real good, but. Maybe one of these days I might come across him. I won't really want him. Because he's met. No, it's not that. It's, he's my friend as well. I like, I like him. And not only that, I, his dad, generally, he's my idol. I've watched his dad. I've looked look at his dad, watched him, studied him from being a young age, like 10, 11 year old. Mm. I used to love his dad, the way I used to fight. And that's the way I base myself when I keep coming forward and fight exactly the same as that. But that family, the Ben, my like Ben family, they all mm. come forward. And, Tyson, Marcia and all, all of them. I like to base myself on them. But one day, I'll probably, if I do get myself up to them rankings, I can't have, but whoever come 
Whoever comes Did you hear that, Connor? He's calling you out. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I mean, he was looking for Mendes, and uh, we, we was looking at him work the bag the other day. Absolutely yeah. animal. And yeah. I think that you've got yeah. to aspire to something, to something like that. No, I, he's, I lo- he's, like, he's the same as his dad, really. He's well, self really. He's more talk- sharp. I, I reckon to Nigel more, about that. And I, said to, I said to Nigel, I said, what do you think on... He said he's far better athlete than I was. Yeah. And it's a different era, obviously. We were yeah. saying about different eras. Oh, yeah. And, and, and I, I, I was like, well, you know, that's a, that's a big set of shoes to follow. Listen, how old's Nigel? He's got to be like mid 50s, sort of age. And he's he's, he's tell, a unit. Tell, yeah. tell, yeah. Yeah. Like, and he's fit and he's Listen, strong. He's old, solid. man. If I, or I know this for a fact. If I was his age, and that man, I think, I think he's 50 something year old, maybe 60 or something like that. Mate, if I was 56 year old, no way, I'd get my head smashed off. <laughs> no, nobody <laughs> would want to fight that man at that sort of age. Listen, even now, like, he, he's punch, still He was punching the bag and the other day, well, you've obviously seen, like, the pallet, the bag and the pads and that. Yeah. Mate, I've, I really think, I'm not lying, I really, really think they would smash people up still. This, oh, that, this day, mate. Yeah. Or young fellas. Tell them what, then when they come tap, 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 that man, he's 56 years old and he's still, like, exploding like that bag and everything. Yeah. Well, we, we was um, I was obviously talking with him and that, and he is an absolute unit, and um, uh, and just you can't help but like him. I mean, he's a wind up merchant. Don't yeah, get me wrong, he's a wind up. Yeah, he's funny. He's awesome, man. He I like is. Him. And he had a lot of time for the boys, and and you can learn a lot from him. And I, I'm, from that sort of thing, it's really difficult to get that sort of exposure early on, and that's where you've got to say thanks to these season pros when they come down the yeah. gym, yeah. and they and they really spend time. But let's let's go back to sort of talking about what what's you know what the future is. I mean, when I was younger, I wanted to be world champion. You know, you want to be world champion. Yeah, that is the thing. Max wanted to be bare knuckle boxing world champion. <laughs> <laughs> he, he did his fighting outside the ring. Like yeah. when we we're doing, I was inside. Mind you, you've done a bit of um, bare knuckle. I've you? done a little bit. I ra- look, I'd rather not. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'd rather not be looking over the back of my shoulder. Thinking, oh, oh shit, he's coming here now. There's gonna be a fight now. Yeah. I don't want to be looking over my shoulder for all of me. I'd rather be walking into a bar. Be friends with everybody, which I don't drink when I think. When I walk up to a bar, I have orange juice. <laughs> 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 I don't do that, but like, I'd rather go somewhere and be friends with everybody. Not yeah. go, go yeah, anywhere yeah, and look in right. there, but if I've got enemies behind my back or anything like that, and be worried wherever I'm going. Mm. But me and myself, like my dad, my dad, he was a bare knuckle fighter. He loved like, having fights outside. My dad, and he was a gentleman. But anybody did start or try and take a little bit of the mick of him, yeah. then he'd it's have no living. choice, he'd say, right, me, he'd like come, then. get outside, he'd got me to fight. <laughs> and he'd fight him, no <laughs> doubt about it, he didn't care. That's one of my like, problems, mm. I don't care for nothing. You're fearless, like, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I, I don't care like, like about getting out or nothing like that, which I don't think, me and myself, every fighter feels the same. Mm. Think like, nobody can't beat me. Yeah. Even though like, you, they probably can, you don't want to believe that. You would like, go in there and that mindset, like, that, like, yeah, like, you can't, you can't, you can't beat me. You can't beat me. I'll have you. I'm gonna hurt you. Yeah, you know? Yeah. You don't want to have no doubts in your head not to know, man. Because mm. if you do, I've got to say now you're on. If you have any doubts in your heart, you've lost before yeah, you started. Yeah, lost before you, yeah. you started. Like, that's what Mike Tyson used to say. He jumped in the ring half-hearted. And then they, you, you can see, like, in the wrong. Yeah, he said, I really had them beat before yeah, he he said, the And then he walked back to the corner and you think, I've got them beat before the fight even starts. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. where he might have They're all the hating it. They yeah. Yeah. Go, they're here for the payday. They take yeah. one little whack yeah. and away they win. <laughs> <laughs> but generally, that's what I want to try and base myself on the boxing side, not the bare knuckle fighting side. Look, like, anybody did start, can't help myself. Probably I would. I probably would have a yeah, I don't want to. I think that that we've all got, all of us who've been in the ring, yeah. all of us who've been on the street, all of us have that fighting instinct, right? Yeah, we're built with it. it, it sometimes it's, it is hard just to walk away. I'll give you a quick little story. We went to an Arctic Monkeys concert like two days ago. <laughs> Uh, some blue geezer sort of fell back against the front of me, he nearly got himself chinned, and that was all that was going to happen. And that was just, but, <laughs> the person came with me was going, Stop! <laughs> yeah. Smack you straight on but, your jaw. What you, should, what you should really do is be friends with everybody. Yeah. And when you make friends with everybody, you make sometimes a bit of limp as well. Some of them who would, cause a lot of people would want to part of you, especially yeah. if you're known as a good boy, they think. They think to I'll, I'll, I'll beat them. Yeah, I'll I'll, I can them. beat them. So yeah. if I beat him, I'll get a name. Yeah. That's all they want. So really, if you just put your head up to them and go, yeah, go on, mate, leave off. Yeah. Walk away and be the bigger man, really, in a way, 
which I, I don't I don't think I've never had. <laughs> but if you can, if you can do that, and in, in the future you got what you're coming on in the future, you'd probably be world champion, British champion, which I would be, which I would like to be, and I probably, I hope that I will be. I want to train, and I want to get up in the morning, which I do, go up early in the morning, do my day in the morning runs, or about six o'clock, five, six o'clock in the morning, because I like to pace myself, like I was saying, on Tyson, and yeah, that's what time he used to get up early, yeah. early in the morning, and he used to believe, well, I'm, if I'm jogging at five, six o'clock in the morning, my opponent's in the bed sleeping, yeah. So I'm trying more these sleep. You've got that edge over bit, Yeah, it's it? got that edge. You've got that yeah. bit of edge. And it's, it's a lot of it is more psychological edge from your point of view. I know that I've worked three times a week while head. you're yeah. in bed sitting there doing what you're doing when the lights go out. I'm out there you know, physically putting yeah. the work in yeah. and putting the effort into and it. And that, that's where it all ends up. Look, as what Tyson said his own self, your fighting is the easiest part of fighting. Yeah. Is the fighting. But getting up every morning and training and jogging and running and training like an athlete, what you should do for a boxer, that's then hard, you're gonna that that's the hard part. When you get in the in the fighting ring, that's the easy part. Yeah, he said discipline is the art of everything. If you've got discipline enough to get out of bed in the morning to go do what you've got to do, then you you got Yeah, that's right. And, and like everybody can get up but get up and say, Oh well I want to ring a post friend can get up or uh, a, like a nurse or something like anything like that, they can jump in the ring and have a fight any time. Anybody can like, go jump in the ring and have a ball and just put your hands up and just throw it on the shot, whatever. Yeah. But everybody don't get up every morning. Everybody mm -hmm. don't get go to the gym every day and go train like an animal. Most of all them other boxers do. And I do myself, I train hard. Yeah, because it's, it's where you get your, your wins. wins. That's yeah, it. And you, right. you learn your craft, you, you get in the ring. You, you, I mean, you're fighting for a career, you know, you want a 10 year career. I mean, well, awaits. You normally look between 10, 12 years. Yeah. Um, you know, the older you are, the bigger you are. It, it yeah, tends to your heavyweight are. career will last a couple of years more. But uh, you know, it takes a lot. People, you, people who've never drawn hands before, you know, just sit there and think these guys just find the in and they make a good amateur career. And then because they can throw hands properly or they're heavy-handed, then they get selected for England. Then you go for Britain. And no, it don't work that way. I mean, right. um, you know, it, this is about how exciting. You've got you have you've got you've got, you have, you've got, got to work that dedication. The dedication, you've got to work for it. You've got to train for it. And that's what I'd like to do. That's what you will do. We're going to make. We're going to follow you away, bro. All, all my sports, and we've got sports out there. I'd like to thank them all, <laughs> but like, I'd like to try and give them a lot of excitement. Yeah, I'll, right. I'll try my best for them, and I will. Yeah. I know I will. I'm pretty sure I'll probably won't let them down by excitement. I know that. Right. But like, I'll have to give them excitement. I hope they've got sports, and they will all like, look up to me and probably like to watch me like box or whatever. And on most sports is more better. For me, yeah, it gives me buzzing. As yeah, you're walking out there, they were screaming the name yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah. You know, and you it's not that. Up. It's not yeah. that. It's nice. It's a nice thing. Yeah, it's a nice thing that you got people on on your side. Mm. It's like, well, they're they're here for me. I can't let them down. It's not like we go out there and we'll knock them out. They're getting knocked out. I'm gonna knock them out. And that's why that's why that's why I look at things like, yeah, you got people on your side and they're people who who love you out there. You don't want to let them people down. Like me, like especially I'm from Britain, like. Um, England, the UK, but like all like my Britain fans, like all of them, I don't want to let no, no them more, like, like, like my British fans down, none of them, I don't want to let mm. nobody down. I want to go out there, I'll go out there on my shield and my arm, I'll go and fight, I'll fight till I die. I would never give in, I know I, 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 this is a, a certain fact that my dad brought me up with us, I'd never give in, you know, fight or box, and I'd, I'd, I'd rather, not being real, I'd rather die than go down with my legs and say, well, obviously, well, I, 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 I wouldn't, I'd never quit, never, yeah. ever, ever, I'd never give up. I'd rather generally lay down and die yeah. first before I give up. Yeah. So that, well, all well, obviously we don't, we don't, we don't think that's going to happen, do we? No, 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 I mean, no. It, Obviously it's a safer sport now than it was ever in Yeah, yeah, but that's, that's, well, that's what they tell you. I'd never, I'd never. You've got to have it, you've got to have that killer instinct. If you're going to make it, you've got to make fights. So I was always told, make the fight as exciting as you can. You it's, know? it's, it's hard, listen, it's a hard game mm. and it ain't, this this game ain't a playing game. It ain't like the game of chess or nothing. Or go and play a bit of football, right? You're going in there. You're risking your health, your mental health, your brain. Yeah. Your, and plus, you obviously your feelings. You've you got, got people. Go. You got family. You don't want to see like upset. A lot, a lot of people as yeah. A lot of people 
has been out in boxing and it ain't a safe game. No. You're risking your life in there, some of them big well, ones. Well, the, well, that, um, Lamudo Lamarty, he fought Nick Ball a couple of weeks ago. You know, I was trying to say that. I mean, he's come out of the He's a really. very, very good boxer and, and probably. There's a lot, you know, you've got a lot that have come out of that. I mean, you've yeah, got Nick, Nick Blackwell. Yeah, that's what I you, say you, about him. You know, and, uh, all these guys, we wish you the absolute best of health. We yeah. really, really do. And we thank you for everything you've done in that ring. To, to actually entertain us as the crowd, not enough people actually say that to these guys. You yeah. know, us who've actually drawn draw. gloves. Anybody who's a set of gloves on, I don't care whether it's just sparring. You, you know, you deserve absolute respect from yeah, everyone. Yeah, a lot of respect, in yeah, and they should do. They should have a lot of respect. Win all those, win you the draw. To get in there, it takes a man to get in there. Yeah. 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 Not, not a lot of people want to do it. They're like, oh, Fuck that, I don't want to hear that. Sorry, I'm swearing. <laughs> but, oh, they, they, don't, they don't want to. No. To get in there, if you've got a heart to get in there, you should be more proud of yourself. Get in there and let's have a bit I of think, therapy. I think when I was younger, oh. well, one of the questions I got, I don't know if you got it, was, does it hurt? And I was like, <coughs> well, actually, to tell you the truth, no. But tomorrow is really going to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. 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 Yeah.